We were baking with rhubarb last time you were here, right? This <laughs> yeah. is Kathy Lobbs. She's a viewer who uh, we found on Facebook for that great rhubarb recipe, and now we said, we need one for strawberries. Mm -hmm. So how did you find this recipe? Um, this is from one of my many cookbook collections. Um, so I, it's kind of a recipe that I just altered to my own liking. Thinking. Okay. Yep. So. And you tested this one out, huh? Oh, I've had this one for a few years already. Okay. So, yeah. All right. This the, one my husband likes. It's a fresh <laughs> strawberry dessert, and there's a creamy filling on the inside of this cake mm -hmm. that I can't wait to try. So let's get started. Step okay. one. First up, you want to get four cups of strawberries, slice them, and then I sprinkle about two to three tablespoons of sugar on it okay. just to sweeten it and get it a little juicy because you want the juice to kind of turn with the Cool Whip okay. and make it kind of pinkish in color. All right. The second thing you want to do is get your cakes made. So I have two round cakes here um, sliced in half horizontally. Okay. Two round cakes. Yellow cake? Yellow cakes. Okay. Did Just you according to a box cake, or you can make your own homemade cake, whatever okay. you want. Whatever is easiest. So. Okay. But then, as you can see, she cut them in half. So we have Slice four pieces now out of yep. two cakes. All right. Then you got to make your custard. So I started the custard already. This is um, a third cup of sugar, a tablespoon of cornstarch, an eighth teaspoon of salt mixed with milk, boiled for two minutes. Okay. Then you're going to want to... Um, temper your eggs so that they don't just cook as soon as you put you don't them want scrambled in. Eggs. Right, you don't want scrambled eggs. So you're going to add a little bit of the liquid to that uh -huh. and mix it up. Okay. And that'll temper the eggs so that they don't cook as soon as they hit the That's hot a great, custard great trick. beginning. I knew what it meant, but I didn't know how to do it. <laughs> All right. Then you want to bring this to a boil, once okay. again, a gentle boil. Do you want me to do that now? Sure. Okay. Um, for about two minutes. So once it starts bubbling, let me know, and I'll okay. try to keep eye on the time. Okay. Well, we have two and a half minutes. So. All right. Great. <laughs> boil! Boil! <laughs> All right. So then the strawberries, you're going to add about two-thirds of a 12-ounce container of Cool Whip. Okay. And you're going to mix that up. Okay. I would just eat that. Well, and if I there's any happy. left over, it looks like you have too much on there. You could always just take a spoon to it. I might do that. <laughs> I just might. Okay. Can I turn it up a little? Sure. Okay. I have some cooled already for the cake part itself. Oh, so Kathy, you I was are thinking so ahead. prepared. I'm like, what if this doesn't boil in time? Because you're going to need to let it cool, which will take at least okay. 30 to 45 minutes. All right, I'm not panicking anymore. Okay, okay. good. So we'll wait for that to boil. Yes. I'll keep stirring it, though. It's good for me. All right. All right, so then you're going to take the Cool Whip mixture. You're going to lay one layer of the cake down. Take the Cool Whip mixture. Doesn't that look good already? Mm. Smear it on there. Smear it. Uh, you're going to want to leave a little bit of room at the edges because it will kind of smush out the sides okay. otherwise when you're layering. Oh, does that look good? Okay. All right. Next layer. Press it on there good and tight. And now comes this, huh? After that is done boiling, you're going to okay. add a tablespoon of butter and a teaspoon of uh, vanilla. That'll bring it to, it'll look kind of yellow in color, but this will bring it to more of a custardy color, a yellow, yellow brown. So okay. you're going to just put that on there. Again, it's got, it needs to cool for about 30 to 45 minutes until it's room temperature that it's not going to melt right off the cake when you put okay. it on there. Yeah, we won't want that. No. You want it to be kind of the consistency of right. custard. Exactly. I get it. Okay, and then after that's spread out, I'm assuming you'd put the next, next two layers. layers. And then another layer of that. Oop. Right? We want the pretty one on top, so. Oh. <laughs> No worries. Nobody there you knows. There go. Nobody knows. Okay. Save no. the pretty one for the top. That's right. Save okay. the pretty one for the top. And let's get a, and, and you can see she's just layering now. She'll okay. add the pretty one on top, cover it with Cool Whip, take a look at the final cake and what it turns mm -hmm. out to be. Because you pretty much got it finished there. This is what it looks like. And then you can see on the inside, I mean, it's just beautiful looking. Can I try it? Yes. Go for it. Okay. And again, this is called Fresh Strawberry Dessert, and we already have the ingredients and the recipe online. And you should really make this. <laughs> oh, is that delicious. A great use for your strawberries. Yep. Thanks again, Kathy. Thank you. You should good. We'll be right back. We'll let Doug taste this coming up on Good Day Wisconsin. Okay.